all right hi guys welcome back to a reading vlog i'm super excited to be back on booktube today is actually my birthday february 1st i'm super excited um i was gonna start the vlog yesterday on friday but i didn't really do anything i just had like a lazy day and then that night i went to dinner with some friends and we went out after so it was really fun but today i'm headed to new orleans which is one of my favorite cities ever i love it there if you've never been you should definitely go it's only like an hour and a half from where i live so aditya he's filling up gas right now um we're headed there to spend the day there and the night and then obviously tomorrow so he plans something i don't know what we're doing but i know one of the first things we're gonna do when we get there is go book shopping I'm super excited uh, i want to treat myself to some books and i think it'll be cool because there are a lot of good local bookstores there so we're gonna check that out but yeah i'm excited to do this little vlog it'll be probably kind of short because it's just today and tomorrow that i'll be filming but yeah, I thought I would mention what I'm currently reading, which is My Sister the Serial Killer by Oyakon Brathway. I think that's how you say it. And I'm really liking it. Oh, hello. We're Hi. back now. We're headed to New Orleans, that's what I told them. What? That we're headed to New Orleans. We are. We're having fun. Anyways, so um, I'm currently reading this, like I mentioned, and I'm like 100 pages in. I've been reading this all month of January. I didn't finish one single book in January, but I was super busy. But anyways, I'm really loving this a lot, and hopefully I can finish it these two days. It's super short. So yeah, I will catch up with you guys when we get to New Orleans. But also I'll talk about the bookstores we went to. First one we went to was Crescent City and it wasn't that nice because it was all, well it was nice but it only had like local artists. I mean, I keep saying artists. There's a cat. Local authors, yeah. There's a really cute cat which I think you guys saw if I edited it right. And then we went to this other place. I forgot what it was called. Do you remember what it was called? The second Crescent one? Crescent and then... Dolphin maybe? Dolphin. I don't know. But anyways, that place they had um, some good books but it was super crowded. And I didn't want to film in there because the guy was like, he, like you're right on top of each other. But anyways, it was fun. But now we're about to go to the secret place. But I thought I'll give you a tour of the Airbnb. So here's the door you walk in. This is what you see. It's really nice. Aditya picked it out. And then this is the bedroom. And then this is the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, they have laundry for you, yeah. if you want it. It's the main reason I picked it. Bathroom, really nice shower. We already saw <laughs> Laundry. Some art of New Orleans. Then come in, and this is the living room. Couch, big TV, and then the kitchen, which is really nice. And that's that way. And then this is the view. Let's see. Yeah. So nice, nice, nice. And then we also went to H and M because I bought new jeans, but they didn't fit me right. So then I bought these. Let's Show see. what your mom gives. These are like super stretchy. But yeah, that's the tour. <laughs>
All right, hey guys, we are back from the freaking yacht that he booked for us. Thank you, you look crazy. <laughs> But yeah, it was super nice. We basically took it out into the water, watched the sunset. It was unlimited white wine, which was nice. There were a couple other people on the boat, and there was another doctor, which was really cool, and then a guy that was getting married. Super random. I don't know why. Super random. <laughs> but it was really fun. I really liked it. And then now we're gonna go eat at a restaurant that one of the ladies recommended. And then we'll probably go to more bars, but I don't think I'm gonna record the rest of it. I see you smiling right there. <laughs> I'm ordering an Uber Black because it's her birthday. Yeah. Anyways, so I'm a gangsta. It was really, really nice. If you come to New Orleans, we highly recommend it, right? Yeah. It was, it was really nice. You'll well, put it down it on their. We'll put. You'll put it down on their. Um, in your info page. Like sure. On, I'll on, link it down below. Yeah, that shit. But no, it was actually really, really. And the people who like own the boat were really nice. They're amazing. So, we recommend. It was really. Uh, thank you. You're welcome, baby. Goodbye. All right. Hi guys. It is the. Next day, last night was really fun. We went to some place, I forgot what it was called. I'll link it here. But it's a place we've never been to in New Orleans. It was kind of like outside of New Orleans, kind of not in the main area. It was really nice. Um, they had like live music, but then because we went out, like a friend had a party thing, like just something at his house Thursday night, and then obviously I had my birthday celebration Friday night. We were really tired last night, so we just came home and chilled out. But today we're getting ready and we're going to go to some more bookstores, go get brunch, and then head back. days later like a week later or something since um new orleans it was really fun i got a few books and i thought i would do just a quick little book haul and show you guys what i picked up since you guys saw me go to all those amazing bookstores so yeah it was really fun i had a blast so the very first book i got which was from the william faulkner house i believe uh i picked up the picture of dorian gray and i got this really pretty edition here this is one classic that i have always wanted to read and i've never read so I saw it and I decided to get it. So we have that. Then next, we, as you saw, we went to like a few bookstores. I didn't buy books at all of them, um, but the Blue Cypress, is that what it was called? That one was really cool. It's in a cool little area. 
definitely recommend you go if you are also going to go check out some bookstores in new orleans um but they have lots of good used uh books for really good prices so i got two books from there both used the first one i got is the water cure by sophie mcintosh it was long listed for the man booker and i actually saw this book when it first came out in a bookstore and the cover caught my eye and i have been wanting to read it since um all i remember is that i'm pretty sure it takes place on an island and there are like two or three daughters and um okay three sisters raised on an isolated island to fear men so i'm pretty sure it's just them with their dad and mom and yeah they raise them to fear men and then i think these men on a boat um come onto shore they get like stranded on shore and things go on from there and i'm pretty sure it's like more of a feminist novel so i'm excited for this and then I got The Idiot by Elif Baltman. I think that's how you say it. I really like this cover. So this book I wasn't interested in for a while until I saw someone talk about it. Yeah, I got it from Blue Cypress Books. Um, Sunbeam's Dress. I'll link her channel down below. She isn't a booktuber, but she does do book videos, if that makes sense. I really like her channel. But anyway, she talked about this book and she really liked it. Um, so this is really follows a girl at Harvard and her just kind of going through life and keeps like messing up and she's also learning russian that's where the title comes from from the famous russian novel i think it's about language and i don't know i heard it's really good and i heard it's also uh really funny and kind of like makes fun of the whole academic process and everything so i'm excited about that one and then lastly we went to this bookstore it was called like tubby and Coos, it was a really cool bookstore with all the Harry Potter stuff. They only had um non they only sell science fiction and fantasy books there and graphic novels and children's books. So it was really cool and unique. I got three books there. So first thing I picked up was this one here called The Deep um by Rivers Solomon with David Diggs, William Hudson, and Jonathan Snipes. Interesting. I didn't notice that there are three other authors with it. But I really love this cover. So let me read this little blurb right here. It says, it says, her people, the Wajin, Wajinru, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, water-dwelling descendants of pregnant African slave women thrown overboard by slaves, live idyllic lives in the deep. That's all I needed to know to want to read the book. I don't know what's going to happen. This is so short. I don't really want to read the rest of the synopsis, but I think that sounds fascinating. So I'm excited about that. The next one I got is this one here, also in a recommendation by Sunbeams Jess. So this is Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James. I'm pretty sure he is an Jamaican author. Yes, Jamaican author, very famous author. His other novel, A Brief History, Seven Killings, I think it won The Man Booker, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it won The Man Booker. So this is a fantasy novel. I think it's like African inspired. A guy is like a tracker, he has a wolf eye, and then he goes on a quest to find this missing boy, but there's like all these magical creatures, magical, fantastical things happening. It's supposed to be really good. It is very thick, and it's one of those like really heavy ones, and the pages are super thin, but yeah, she said it was really good, and I really, really love this cover. So yeah, I don't think I've heard anyone talk about it on booktube, so I'm excited to read it. Well, the last book I got is another fantasy and that's The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. This is the first book in a series. I'm not sure how long the series is going to be but this book actually I was in a completely different bookstore like months ago. Oh, let me throw this. <laughs> I was in a completely different bookstore months ago looking in the fantasy section and a one of the girls who worked there literally like took this book out of the bookshelf and like put it in my hand and she was like this book is really good and then just walked away <laughs> so it's been on my mind forever and ever since then i've been seeing a couple people talk about it and it's been getting really 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 good reviews now what it's about i'm not sure i just know it's a fantasy there are dragons like it's a revenge story and you're following a man a man willing to die a hundred thousand miles for the chance to kill the three who betrayed him. There we go. So it's an epic fantasy with dragons. That's all I need to know. And I really love this spine. And I do like this cover. So yeah guys, those are all the books that I picked up for my little birthday book haul thingy. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was really fun. 
let me know what you guys think and i will catch you guys in my next one bye